Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2014 Jeep Wrangler, we're going to be showing you how to install the draw tight trailer hitch receiver. But before we do that, let's check it out and make sure that this is the right one for you. When it comes to Jeeps, you know, having a hitch on them really does make sense. Uh, people use these things to do a little bit of everything, whether it's pulling a trailer or using accessories or even both. So uh, having a hitch on there um, just looks right at home. When it comes to picking out the hitch that's going to be right for you, there's really a couple things, at least in, in my opinion, that are going to kind of, um, you know, help you determine that. One of them being the appearance, you know, what you're looking for as far as uh, that goes. And the other one being, you know, how you actually use your Jeep and what you plan on doing with the hitch. So as far as the looks go, I mean, this is really just going to be your personal preference. Um, I think the hitches that sit kind of flush to the back bumper look a little bit better. Um, just a little less visible, but on the same note, you know, if it were me, I would be looking for functionality first and foremost. And so this one, with it coming out pretty far, uh, one of the ones that come out the furthest, actually, um, this is going to be real good for those of you that primarily plan on using uh, folding type accessories. So like a folding bike rack or, or cargo carrier or something like that. And with the Jeeps having the spare tire back here, you know, it takes up a lot of space. So with this hitch coming out like this, it's going to give us that extra room we need to be able to fold that accessory up. Now that doesn't mean that you can't use this one to tow or anything like that. This is going to work great for all those situations. Um, but you know, keep in mind, you're going to have to kind of sacrifice, you know, some of the clean looks that some of the other ones have to offer. So with this being a class three hitch, it is going to give us that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, uh, super common size and a lot of different things will work with it. The end of the receiver tube, there is a reinforced collar for a little bit of extra support. And the hitch is going to use that standard five eighths pin and clip. Keep in mind though, pin and clip does not come with it. However, if you need one, not a huge deal. You can grab it right here at E-Trailer. The safety chain openings are a plate style, and they're on the smaller side, but it looks like uh, we should be able to use a lot of different hooks. This one's pretty big, and that fits on there, as well as this one. There's a nice touch I do like with these, um, and that's this little bracket right here. Uh, if you plan on pulling a trailer, you're gonna want trailer wiring. You know, that way the lights on it and everything will work and you can always grab that and if you do end up using the trailer wiring this gives you a perfect spot to mount it up you know you get another four-way flat bracket it'll connect to here and be really clean and accessible as far as the hitch's weight capacities go it's going to have some some pretty good numbers actually the maximum gross tongue weight rating is going to be 675 pounds and that's going to be the amount of weight that's pushing down on the hitch so pretty high number and you'll be able to use any size bike rack or cargo carrier that you'd want to, for example, as far as the hitch's maximum gross trailer weight rating goes. That's going to be 4,500 pounds. And that's going to be the amount of weight that's going to be pulling on the hitch. So the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. This can be used with the weight distribution system, uh, which is a separate component. And what that's going to do if you do use it is help keep your trailer and your Jeep nice and level whenever you're going down the road. So uh, if you plan on pulling a camper or anything like that, larger size might be worth checking out. Um, but even if you do use that uh, weight distribution system, the weight capacities are gonna remain the same. With all that in mind, I do always like to recommend, it's never a bad idea just to grab your Jeep's owner's manual. That way you can make sure your Wrangler can pull that much weight safely. Now let's just go ahead and grab a couple of measurements. That way we could try to figure out which hitch mounted accessories are, uh, would work out best. So if we go from the ground to the top and side edge of the receiver tube opening, that's going to be right at about 19 and a half inches. So if you plan on pulling a trailer, chances are pretty good. You can use a ball mount that has a, a slight drop in the shank. If you go from the bumper, edge of our bumper, to the center of the hitch pin hole, that looks like it's going to be about, I'd say, about a good two inches. And if we go from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear tire, that's going to be about a good six, six and a half inches. 
Um, and you can use those measurements to figure out that if any folding accessories you might have can be stored in that upright position without hitting the back of your spare tire. With all that said though, you know, these measurements are a reference. Um, they can change depending on the tire size that you have on your Jeep, if it's lifted and things like that. So uh, something just to keep in mind. And to give you a reference today, the tire on uh, the back of our Jeep is a 255 75R17. So at the end of the day, a hitch that's gonna work uh, for a little bit of everything, you know. In my opinion, not the best looking hitch, but in terms of functionality, it's definitely gonna get the job done. Now, as far as insulation goes, it's really not too bad. Essentially, all you're gonna have to do, hold the hitch up, uh, slide in four bolts, and tighten everything down. So, really shouldn't give you issues or, or take up a bunch of your time. But, speaking of that, why don't we go ahead and pull into the garage and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be here at the back of our Jeep, and we're gonna be working right underneath it. First thing that we're gonna do is identify our attachment points that we're gonna use to hold our hitch up. So we're gonna have a total of four attachment points along the back side of this uh, beam here. So one there, 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 and there. And before you put your hitch up, I like to kind of test fit the hardware. So take a bolt and a flat washer and just make sure that these feed through pretty easily. Cause sometimes what can happen is right from the factory, the holes might be off a little bit and you can have some trouble trying to get that bolt to pass through there. So doing this, uh, you know, kind of just verifies that we're in pretty good shape. If you do happen to get one that uh, it's super tight, you can come back with a drill bit or a file and just kind of try to clean up that edge a little bit to make it a little bit easier. Now we're able to grab our hitch, line it on up, take the hardware that we talked about and simply feed it through. Usually once you get two of them going, the hitch will kind of support itself, make it a little bit easier. One and two in there, we'll go ahead and pop the other two in. So now you can see where our bolt comes through on the other side of the hitch. What you want to do is take a conical tooth washer, make sure the teeth are going to face towards the hitch, and try to get this up there. It's pretty tight, so have a little bit of patience here. Once you get it on through, we can get the nut started. So with the nut, we can, we can do a trick here. You can take it, put it in a box wrench, put it in the open end of the box wrench using a 19 millimeter and also use a three quarter. Then take some tape. I like to use packing tape. And actually just kind of tape the top side of that nut to the box wrench. All right, and then this gives us a good handle that we can kind of work this up there and get it started. So once you have it started hand tight, what you're actually able to do just pull that wrench off and then that'll stay up there. A lot of times here, your tape will stay up there so you don't have to redo it every time. But that said, I'll use that same technique and hardware combo for our three remaining bolts. Once you have all your hardware in place and hand tight, we can take a couple of wrenches and snug everything down. Now we need to come back with a torque wrench and tighten up all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. If you don't have a torque wrench, you can pick one up here at e-trailer, or a lot of times you can go to your local auto parts store and they will have one uh, available to rent. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the draw tight trailer hitch receiver on our 2014 Jeep Wrangler.